everyone and welcome back to our channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you another lean and green meal. Ooh, there was a burp. Can you say hello to everyone? Today's lean and green meal is extremely easy. Thank goodness. Number one, we went to the pool today. As you can see, she looks a little flush, a little uh, pale. It's because she's got sunscreen on her face and she had a great time. So because we were at the pool for a good amount of today, I needed something that was quick and easy and could do the work for me while I was gone or while I'm doing other things. So we have a crock pot meal today and I'm so excited. I call this crock pot meal taco casserole bowl or taco bowl casserole or just a taco bowl. I mean, it can kind of be anything you want it to be. It's gonna be delicious, I know that, and it's gonna be easy, which I'm happy with. So let's get started. Let me show you exactly what you need for this recipe. So let's go. I didn't even realize she was spitting up on me this whole time. For this recipe, you will need one and a half pound of cooked 99% lean ground turkey, six tablespoons of taco seasoning. I use low sodium, but you don't have to use low sodium. One and a half cups of diced bell peppers. You can use any color. I was really lazy this week. We were on vacation for the first part of the week, so I decided to just give myself a break and I got the already diced and the cool part is this is one and a half cups of weighed diced bell peppers. Six tablespoons of diced onion. Again, I did the same thing, just made it easy for myself. Two cans of Rotel or diced tomatoes with green chilies. This is the 10 ounce cans. One and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese. One cup of shredded lettuce. One tablespoon of sour cream and one tablespoon of guacamole or one ounce of avocado. So the first thing that I did was thaw out my ground turkey in the microwave because I forgot to pull it out this morning. Totally okay. And then I'm gonna throw this into a skillet, both of these actually, and this will actually cook down to about a pound and a half, if not exactly about a pound and a half. So no worries there, but I'm gonna go ahead and brown this up first and this will take a good eight to ten minutes to do so. Oh here you are face to face in this trashy bar another glass and I am going places makes me laugh about the irony of everything. Okay so I've got that all browned up. The next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of water to this pan. I'm gonna say let's add about half a cup of water and just eyeball it. You may have to add a little bit more water. I am so glad that I just looked at that because it did not seem right. It is six teaspoons not six tablespoons so sorry about that. Six teaspoons and you won't even know the difference because I will have fixed that on the screen when I say the ingredients because I'm pretty sure I said six tablespoons but three four five six okay and like I said just watch the water and make sure that it's covering and helping this to turn into taco meat you know how to do that I'm actually gonna add a fourth a cup more water to this. And then I want this to come to a boil and simmer for about two minutes. Just like I was doing if I was making taco meat for tacos. Okay, so my turkey meat is now finished browning. I've got the taco seasoning in it. It's good to go. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this into my crock pot carefully, very, very carefully, not to burn ourselves. This is a very hot pan, very hot pan. Perfect. And then also to my crock pot, I'm gonna add my two cans of Rotel or diced tomatoes and with green chilies. You're gonna wanna make sure that you really drain this well because you don't want this to be super, super watery with everything after it's already cooked. So I've drained these pretty well, I hope. And I'm gonna throw both those cans in. Need a bigger crock pot. I'm also going to throw in my one and a half cups of diced bell peppers. This is green, yellow, and red, I think. Yeah, green, yellow, and red. 
And then my six tablespoons, this is where the tablespoons comes in, six tablespoons of diced onions. Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, I'm gonna mix all this together. Might as well continue to use this. So you can see it is very well mixed. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my lid, pop that on top, and this needs to be cooked at four hours on low or two to three hours on high. We're about two and a half hours from eating dinner. So I'm definitely gonna set this on high and then watch it. So that's all you have to do right now. We'll come back right before we eat, right before we serve it up. Pretty simple, right? Hi guys, good morning. This is Future Me Editing. I just realized I lost footage, and I don't know how I lost footage, but I lost footage. So for the next part, five minutes before I was ready to serve everything up, I went ahead and topped the casserole in the crock pot with one and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese and just let that sit for about five minutes so that it would melt. Um, and that's what you missed, but that's all that you missed. The next part is obviously still there. Okay, so it's been about five minutes and sorry about that. Like I suspected, the cheese is nice and melted and it's ready to be plated up. So this is where your sour cream and guacamole come into the picture. And your lettuce. So you can do this however you'd like, but I think I'm gonna show you my preferred way. And then of course, you're using the same ingredients, so do it however you want to in whatever order you want to. Okay, so to assemble our taco bowl, I've got one cup or 2.54 grams, no, ounces, sorry, 2.54 ounces in a bowl. I like my lettuce on the bottom, just like if I was at Chipotle or something. So I've got lettuce on the bottom. Now I'm gonna add in one sixth of our serving. Let's make six equal servings. So hold on just a second. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of white sour cream and one tablespoon of avocado, or of guacamole. Okay, there's one tablespoon of sour cream. And here comes my one tablespoon of guacamole. Either way, if you use avocado or guacamole, they're both considered healthy fats. Okay, so this, all of this equals one leanest, three green, one healthy fat, and three condiments. So you still get one healthy fat for the day. Wherever you wanna use that, go ahead, use it in a shake, make a cheesecake out of it if you haven't. Learned how to do that. I think I'm gonna make a video on that pretty soon. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. I'm ready to eat, I'm so excited. I think maybe next time I will try ground beef. We'll just have to see from there. I hope you'll enjoy. Thank you so much for supporting us on this journey, for supporting me on this journey and supporting the channel. Until next time, I love you all and God bless you.